Hello everybody and welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I am so excited. Today we are going to be doing a spooky sort of Halloween swag. It's going to be super fun. Um, this will probably be one of our last Halloweens. We may do one, one more, but we're kind of wrapping up Halloween and getting ready to move on to um, fall and Christmas. So what we are going to be using, let's go over some supplies. So I got this black swag base i've had it i don't know where i got it from it's very thin you could just use this if you wanted full it i mean fill it full of mesh and be good to go but i am going to actually take a artificial pine swag base another one that's kind of thin and we're just going to pile those together and that's going to give us our swag base okay so that's what we're going to be doing i have um half of a little skeleton He's missing his legs, but we're going to use him for this design because we don't need to see his legs. We're going to be using this fun little picture, a uh, little picture frame. It does light up. Woohoo! Um, I got this at the Dollar Tree, I think it was. I think it was the Dollar Tree. Um, so we're going to be using this design or this in our design. We're going to be using a 10 inch roll of black mesh and then some of the florals I brought in and I just stuck that one right in my glue so that's no point out. We're going to be using some of our wisteria. I brought in some pine sprays. Um, I got these little black picks from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have some leftover scraps from another design that I did. So we're maybe tying some of those in. So I'm just using up some Halloween scraps that I have, okay? So those are our supplies. Oh, and ribbon. So I'm just gonna probably go in um, with this ribbon. This is an old one that we used to have in the shop. We don't have it anymore. Um, but use whatever ribbon that you want. But I'm gonna kind of make this a darker design. So we're gonna go in with that pretty ribbon. Okay, so those are our supplies. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's get our swag bases attached. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this right down in the center. I'm gonna come up with it just a hair. This little long tail, I'm gonna clip it off. We don't need it. We can use it for filler later if we need to. I'm just going to try to get this lined up in here and then I'm going to use a couple zip ties and then we'll also twist our little pine ties together as well and we'll just kind of blend these all together. Okay, so let me add uh, two or three of these. And then we're going to go ahead and get our mesh added. I will do a couple pieces with you guys and then I will just skip to when we've got it all ready to go. If you are new to the page, welcome. We do have plenty of tutorials um, where I show you how to do a complete mesh all the way around. So we would love for you to check out some of our other tutorials. We have a whole series of them in there. We would love for you to check out some of our playlist. Okay, I'm gonna add this last one at the bottom. Okay. And then now I'm just gonna take some of these branches and take and just twist them together. So we've got our zip ties and we have them twisted. So this thing is not gonna go anywhere. It is, it is attached. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of pull some of these green ones through. We're just gonna blend this. And then we're gonna get our go ahead and get our mesh added. So I am just gonna use probably, I think we can get away with just one roll. 
of the mesh. I'm going to focus on the outside. I'm not going to focus too much on the inside because we're going to have Mr. Skelly down in here. Not if we add mesh, he's going to be sticking way up here. So I'm just going to go around the outside. I might add one or two little pieces in the center, but that will be it. Okay. So let me get my scissors. This is how I do my mesh. I do not. Uh, I do not measure. I just drop it to the floor and I cut. When you're using these artificial pine wreath bases, it does not have to be perfect. You don't even end up seeing much of the mesh by the time we get through with our design. It's more for filler, okay? So before I cut up any more, let me show you how I add them, and then I will go off camera, finish this up, and then we'll come back, okay? I hold this up to my chest, and I just roll it in and scrunch. Okay, then I'm going to go on the outside here. I'm going to find two ties, push it all the way down, and twist tightly. Okay, let me do one more. Hold it up to my chest. Roll the ends in. That's going to help with the frame. You keep those ends tucked under. All mesh, it don't matter which mesh you buy. You can buy the more expensive mesh. You can buy the value mesh. It's all going to fray. At some point, it's going to fray. So just trying to keep those ends tucked in will help with that. Okay, so I am going to finish this up and then we'll come back. Okay, I have finished putting the mesh on our swag base. I just went all around the outside. I did not end up putting anything in the middle. It looks like it, just the way it's kind of squished in. But I just went on the outside. So now we're going to kind of part the seas a little bit. And we're going to get Mr. Skelly added up in here. Okay. So I want him right about here. So he's going to sit right in this area about here. Let me move the camera down so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. We're just going to get him added. So I'm going to take and I'm going to run this pine branch through his shoulder blade and I'm going to twist it off nice and tightly. We'll add some glue to here, to here in a second. Let's do the same thing on this side. So again, pine branch through his shoulder blade And I'm going to twist it off. Okay, and then down at the pelvic area, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take that pine branch, go through, and twist. And let's do one on this side. And twist. See if I want to do one around his neck. I don't think so. That might look kind of funny. We don't want to strangle him. Let's just leave it later on. I think he'll be okay. We can maybe do one around his waist. We'll just twist one off around his waist. Okay. So let's hit it with a little bit of glue. To make sure it's not gonna come off, come untied, it shouldn't, but extra little precaution. Okay, so here is what I'm thinking, and we're gonna figure this out together because I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna we're gonna learn together. So I want Mr. Skelly here. To be holding the picture and that way whoever buys it can also be able to stick their hand back there and turn this on if they want to turn it on while it's hanging up so we gotta figure out how we're gonna get it added first thing I know I do not want because it is a picture frame I do not want the little stand so I'm just gonna 
take that part off. And then let's figure out how we want to get this attached. Now it does have little holes at the bottom in this picture frame. I'm thinking we can run some wire down there. We may have to have it more up on the body. Like that. Let me see what that little, okay, it's on this side. So they could technically still stick their hand in there and reach it to turn it on. I think we're going to get some wire. I have some floral wire. And this is just 20, it says 26 gauge. Use whatever wire you have. We could almost, if we had enough pine, uh, but the ones at the bottom are shorter, but if you had, uh, if we had enough pine, we could run the pine through there like we just did on Mr. Scale. But when you get towards the end of a teardrop, you know, the little pine ties get smaller, so we're not gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna run that wire through this picture. And we're gonna twist it off in the back. I'm gonna kind of weave it through the mesh so it's having something to attach to. And I'm just going to twist back here. So y'all bear with me for one second. Okay. Now let's do the same thing on this side. We'll run that wire through that frame. Take this one and go down, sort of through the mesh. I'll try to find it here. This can be the tricky part sometimes, is getting a grip on it. I may have to make my wire a little longer. around this pine branch. So I went through the mesh and I'm twisting it around the pine branch. I'm going to fold that pine branch over and we'll hit it with some glue. Okay, so those, those are in there. Those are in there pretty good. I'm going to hit with some glue. Now the top part, same thing. We'll glue these little hands in a minute. But up here, now up here we might be able to do what I was talking about. We might be able to run this branch. Let me see, it might be too thick. Yeah, I think it's gonna be too thick to go through there. Almost. So let's do the same thing. Get our wire. And then run through there. I'm gonna find the spine of our swag. So I have something to go around. Bear with me for just one second. Not always the easiest part. There we go. Try this again. Okay. Now that I got it ran, ran around the spine, let's get it attached. I'm going to go back through my
with my picture frame. Maybe. Well, why is this being so difficult? There we go. Now I'm going to find my wire back here and I'm going to twist it off. Just a little tip. I would recommend making your wire longer than what I did. I'm struggling a little bit because I didn't quite make my wire long enough. So make your wire, give yourself plenty of wire so that you don't have so much trouble getting it through there. Okay, now I'm gonna twist that off really good. Pretty good. Not going to go anywhere. We can hit it with a little bit of glue on the back here. Just extra security. Get another glue stick. Okay. Now on this side, we can run it and wrap it around his little rib. So I'm gonna give myself a little extra wire, even though I know we're not going quite as far this time. It'll still make it easier. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna grab this underneath his rib. twist it off right here so he's gonna this will be tight on him nicely mechanics we're going to cover it up There we go. It is not going anywhere. Now let's get our hands attached how we want them. So I am going to use some super glue. I don't trust just the hot glue. We will add some hot glue, but let's add some super glue too. Let's try to get sit right there. Just gonna add some on his fingers. I'm take this little pinky. Add some more glue on there like that. I'm just going to hold that for a second. Try not to mess it up on this side. I think I'm going to put it right in here on his little palm. Right on his palm. I'm 
and we're just going to hold it there. I'm going to let that dry. While that's drying, I want to get this flour added. So I had one of these left, y'all. I would have loved to have a couple more for this design, but I only have one, so we're going to we're going to use it. Okay. You, if you go, these came from Michaels. Um, these little black sunflowers, they had them in black and I think a burgundy. So I used, yeah, black and burgundy. They might have other colors, but those are the cheese that I bought and I used it for another project. But I'm going to get this kind of right in here and that's going to help kind of hide our, his little broken hip that he's got going on. So I'm going to cut this down actually just a hair more. Tuck that right in here. And put the leaves. Y'all, I missed his hand up. But that actually might work out in our favor because we can glue that hand to that leaf. I'll have to pick that glue off that flower later. Okay, so let's move on. Let that dry because I did not um, take my own advice and I got in such a hurry that we messed that up. Okay, let's add our bow. So I'm thinking we're gonna add a bow here and then we may do some something on the side over, over here on this side. So I'm just gonna take our ribbon. Let's see, go right about here. Going to pinch. I'm going to actually drop this to the floor. I'm going to pinch. This is not the strongest wire ribbon, but it will. It it's not bad. It'll it'll work for our project. And I have, I think I have maybe three rolls of this ribbon left. Uh, three or four rolls. If you guys are, if they are not in the shop, but if you are going to make something very similar and you guys want this ribbon, leave me a comment and I'd be happy, happy to sell you a roll. Obviously, once they sell out, they sell out. I had originally my daughter um, when she got engaged had originally said she wanted a Halloween or October close to Halloween type wedding that's just my daughter she's lover but she's um, she loves to do things different right so I had saved this ribbon we were going to use that she wanted these colors in her wedding. So I saved it. Then they decided to just elope. And so I have this ribbon left. And I've used some of it, but we've got a little bit left. So like I said, if you're interested, let me know. And um, I can send you an invoice for a roll. So we're going to put this up in here. tail here. Leave it a little long for now. Let me go ahead and cut this one. So his head's going to be 
just are hanging out right there by that bow. Let me see what I want to do on the other side. We might just do a half bow. Over here by his shoulder. Let me just play with this for a second, y'all. Most of the time when I come on with you guys, I, I might have somewhat of an idea of what we're gonna do, but it really just is kind of, it comes to me on the fly. So sometimes we just gotta experiment. I almost just wanna let it hang. I'm gonna leave this long. This one's shorter. Okay. And down here, I'm thinking maybe we just do a tail. Scissors are not, I have to get these for new scissors. They used to cut really well, and I must have cut something besides fabric with them and messed my scissors up. We might have to start over. Let me see. Keep taking away this tail, it might get you short. I'll leave that one a little shorter, and let's go a little longer with this one. All right, that one cut. Kind of okay. Got some ribbon left. We might do some tails. I'm not sure yet, so let's just set it aside. And let's start working with, with some of our greenery, some of our leftover pieces. So I have just a couple pieces of this left. This came on a little bush from Michael's. I'm thinking we're going to stick this right in the center here and let it kind of flow down. That might be a little long, so let me see where exactly I want it. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this into two pieces. That'll actually give us a little an extra little piece. Now I'm going to put a pick on this. If you don't have a pick machine, you can just put it on a wooden pick. Or you can just glue it in. But this will help me kind of get it up in there exactly where I want it. Try not to burn my finger. It's hitting something. There we go. It's like it was hitting something. So we're just gonna kind of keep these pieces because I only have a few of them. They're just gonna be down at the bottom. I keep dipping all my, every time I move my florals, I keep, keep dipping them. Look, I just dip that in the glue. I have to scoot my glue pot further over. Now I've got glue all over my fingers. You guys let me know in the comments, do you guys like to make Halloween? Decor items, are you a fall person? I know not everyone does Halloween. And then some people just love Halloween. I love doing both. I probably decorate, I probably, because of my kids, decorated more fall, uh, Halloween than fall. Now that they're older and out of the house, and we moved to the ranch, I don't know, we might switch it up. We may do some, we don't, maybe, 
do more fall and Halloween this year. Well, actually, this year we won't be doing nothing because my house isn't done being built, but next year. Okay, I'm going to cut this one down. We will be lucky if the house gets done by Christmas, y'all. It's kind of what their goal is, but it all is just going to depend on the weather and, of course, the trades, whether or not they get it done in time. Okay, I'm going to go on this side. So we're just kind of filling the bottom around with these. Not even going to put a pick on that one. Got a nice little piece of pine under there that I can attach that to. Okay, I'm going to cut it up again so we can get some more pieces out of it. Let's come around the side over here. pieces of this that we have. This is just creating sort of our, our bottom down here. Okay, let me switch the camera and we'll see what we got going so far. Okay, so we have our little greens down here, we're kind of filling out our bottom. We've got our little tails that's hanging. Mr. Skelly's holding the picture. Love it. Okay. Now I have, let's see. I have these little branch picks. I got these at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I had to I had to go check out my Dollar Tree when we moved. So we moved here in June. But we've been so busy, I haven't really gotten into town to check out the, the stores. So when I was there last week, um, I finally got to check out the Dollar Tree. They had some Halloween out. So, so this little branch, I'm thinking I want up underneath his head. If I like it, let's see. Yeah, we'll go with it. So I stuck that up, in the t up underneath his head and I'm gonna take one of these little pine ties and wrap around that stem. Just for added support, it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna hit it with some glue. Okay, I have three of these. Yes, I have three of these. So let me see where I want. Do one to the side, right in there, sort of right underneath our bow. And right in there. And again, I can take a pine branch, twist it around in there. Help secure that. Take our last one. Let's go on this side. Okay. You guys, I did buy another microphone, but 
I need help with it. So I gotta wait for my honey to get down here to help me figure it out. So bear with me for this tutorial. Maybe a little on the softer side, but I have ordered a mic. I mean, I have the mic, I actually have it. So hopefully the next video, you'll have a little bit better sound. Y'all just bear with me. Okay. So we've got our little branches. We don't want, we need to fill in our side over here. I've got a little bit of this left. Again, I'm using leftovers. We've got our pine, we've got our wisteria, so we're gonna fill this all in. Go ahead and cut these up. I'm only gonna get a few little pieces out of this, so I wanna make sure we strategically place them. So I think before we place those, let's work on getting our pine added and maybe some of our wisteria added. And then we can kind of see where we need to go in and tuck those little pieces. Okay, so let's cut these up. Okay, so I've cut up two of these pine branches. And we're just gonna start adding them throughout. Let's see where I want this one to. We're gonna go underneath our tail there. And add them on picks if they're not going in exactly how you want it. Put a pick on it. And it makes it a little bit easier to slide it up in there. Pushing that in there. Here we go on our sides here. Start filling that out a little bit, making sure I'm going into that pine. that 
I may have to go get one more of these bushes. And I'm going to go up underneath and give our little tail and bow some support. Look at y'all, I got glue right on my ribbon again. Me and the glue today are not friends. right up underneath that little branch we just added. So it's kind of sitting right on top of there. I've got a nice hole right here, so we're going to go in there. here and give our little tail some support. going to need to get another one. I think I want to save this long piece for down here. one more. We may not use all of it. We probably will, knowing me. There's some up there by his head. So I'm thinking we may wrap this branch. Kind of right in there. We're gonna, we, I've got some little leftover florals too that we might add. I'm just trying to cover, what I'm trying to do is trying to cover up our mechanics, our little wire. either do that with greenery or I do have a few of those little flowers that we could use. working with the artificial pine, but it can be messy. Not as messy as the flock pine, but it is messy still. We've got pine needles all over my floor. All over the floor down here. Okay. Let me 
let's see what will work with here. Let's add in a few of our little wisteria. I love these fun little branches on this one. I've still got a few little pieces of pine left. in there. Okay, let's get another one. Almost even have it coming out of our picture frame like that, and that kind of helps um, hide our wire. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add a little bit of super glue as well as the hot glue just because it is plastic, it might peel off. It should be okay, but just extra insurance. We're gonna add a little, gonna add a little super glue. as well as just a dab of hot glue. I'm gonna go right down in that picture frame. So we're gonna give it a bend. And that helps cover up our little wire there. Super fun. Right, now let's see where we wanna add some of these greens. This is a little bit more vibrant green than our pine, so that kind of gives us a little bit more color. Just going to kind of play with it for now before I start gluing and see, make sure that I like it. If you don't want this in there, use a different greenery, use a darker greenery. I kind of like the way it breaks it up, it gives us a little bit of color. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So let me go ahead and glue these. See how many we use. Obviously, scale up or scale down depending on your budget. The more granular you use, of course, the pricier the design gets. get it in there, it's kind of hitting something. There we go. And I think in this spot right here where we have this little twisty tie, we will go ahead and add probably a little, a little flower.
can take this little twist tie and bend it down. Okay, I have some more twiggies now that we cut up another one. So I think I'm gonna put one right up in here. piece. Let me look at it from this way. Let's do it right there. I'm going back behind his head. shorter piece up underneath up underneath our bow and I am pushing it down in that pine I'm not having it sit right on the outside it's getting pushed down in there we don't want it coming loose crazy and have it coming out of the front like that. I kind of like it. And just kind of weave it through a little bow. Mm. That's kind of fun. I mean, Halloween's fun, right? Why not? Halloween and Mardi Gras are kind of the two you can get away with doing just a little more crazy designs because super fun okay so i'm gonna let that dry that's gonna go right through that picture frame i almost wish i had another little piece we could do the same thing right here maybe we do that with one of our little black pieces and that'll help hide our yeah that'll help hide our little wire there i have one more piece of green right here I'm trying to see if I want to go there or if I want to go more down here. Let's go down here. So we can add, always add something else right over there. All right, let me flip the view for you guys so you can see what we have so far. Let me hold it up. Isn't that fun? Super cute. I can see just by looking at it in the camera that we have a hole right in here. So we'll fill that in. We'll fill something in right there. So I got a little hole right in here. It needs something. So let's get a little piece of our pine because that's all I have left unless I cut up another. I could cut up another wisteria bush, but. I think that's a enough pop of that color. Let's fill it in with another pine and then we'll go in with our little black pieces that we have and then maybe a couple of the florals. Okay, so I just tucked that in right there and that kind of filled that little hole that we had going on. Okay, so back to I'm dropping my stuff everywhere. Back to this little guy. Again, we'll add him here. So again, super glue and hot glue. We don't want that hot glue just peeling off with that plastic. I am sticking that down in there. And giving that a little bit. So we got nice movement. 
everything's not flat. We have stuff coming out of our design, which is fun. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we put this one right here. These can bend, so I'm just gonna give that a bend. That'll help with that little hole we had too, right on this side of the picture. And that's gonna kind of come up on our frame. Let's take another piece. Let me see. Okay, let's add it right here. Give it a bend. And it's gonna go right up underneath his rib cage. And we can actually take a little wire if we need to, or a little piece of, um, I don't have room. This is probably too thick. If you have a little stem, you could take and just kind of secure that to his rib so it doesn't move. I think instead, I'm gonna, there's a little black uh, pine branch here. I think I'm just gonna wrap it around that. Just to keep it from going anywhere. Okay, so it is secure, I'm gonna glue that. Fun, super fun. Okay, we gotta do something up with his head here. And I'm almost thinking we put this right here. Almost like he's wearing a little wearing a little hat, but it's gonna help cover up this little, it had a hanger on it. So it's gonna cover up that little piece right there. You guys could add a little top hat to him, that would be cute. We're just gonna let that sit right there. I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of glue just to kind of help hold that on there. Okay, we have, let's see how many pieces. I have two more pieces left. So let me see where I want. We still need to kind of hide the mechanics here on this wire. So we could take and push that down in that hole as well. I'm just playing here, y'all. Give me a second. Or I can go down. Yeah, let's do it down there. So I'm actually gonna kinda go through. I'm gonna go through his little rib cage and I'm gonna glue it right to that. Right to that pine there. some glue. Alright, so I have one more little piece. Either add it up at the top. I'm almost digging in our little bow, in our little half bow over here. Yes. Add it to our little half bow. We could take a little dab of glue on the back of that pedal and just secure it to our ribbon. Isn't this just fun? Super fun. Okay, so we have a few little florals left. that we can tuck in. So I'm gonna add one right there. We 
have our flower over here, which is kind of hidden. That's okay. I almost think we need a piece of greenery right underneath them. So let me get a little tiny piece of pine. mechanics is all we're doing. Okay, and I have two little pieces that do not even have stems on them. So we're going to go right back there behind his head. Lots of glue. Before I glue it, let me look. I'm thinking back behind that loop to kind of give it a little bit of support. Right in there. Oh, y'all, I see one more little, I see one more stem over, hiding over here. So we actually have one more. Okay, so I have one more. So I think we're going to put it right there. Okay, y'all, we have finished our design. Here he is. Isn't that just so adorable? Super fun. A little spooky, but not too over the top. I think it turned out really cute. I will hang it up and get pictures for you guys. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If this is your first time, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll get notified every time we have new tutorials out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, bye y'all.